Welcome to tutorial 28 where we're going to be looking at infrared light sensors. They go by many different names which include photo interrupters and opto sensors. Um, quite simply they have two, two component parts. The first one is an infrared emitting LED and the second part is a transistor which is known as a photo transistor. Photo being light so it's detecting the infrared light. I'm going to be using a uh, KTIR0611 which is available from places like Rapid and this is the circuit diagram that I'm going to be using that I've developed. A little point on this because this is an LED it requires a current limiting resistor on the LED so if we have a quick look at the data sheet there it tells us that the maximum forward current here is about 50 milliamps which is slightly higher than most LEDs and it tells us that the typical forward voltage is 1.2 with the maximum 1.5. So if we do a quick calculation there and if we are using a 5 volt supply and we have a maximum voltage drop of 1.5 let's say there's 3.5 volts across the resistor divided by that 50 milliamps through it we need to be using a resistor value of 70. Well, in my circuit, I've decided to use 100 just to be safe, so not too much current flows. So now, if we go back here, what type of applications? Well, the most typical application, of course, is in an in a infrared remote control, sending the infrared signal and being received. Um, uh, I found that pupils use it mostly in things like burglar alarms comes in generally a sealed package like this but in the inside that package is the transmitter receiver which are just little LEDs here phototransistor receivers and um, you can buy them individually and they have different sort of characteristics but I'm going to be using this type here and all I'm going to do is build the circuit and measure the output voltages so if we just go back very quickly here is my output voltage across this 470k resistor and this photo transistor. So at the moment, hopefully you can see that the output voltage is 0 0.026 of a volt, which is basically zero, so the output is low. I'm going to cover up the infrared, and you can see that that voltage has, I'm just going to risen to 3.34 volts. Now, I put one single piece of paper in here. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take that out. And now I'm going to put a wad of paper in the gap. And you can see that the output voltage is now risen to 4.17 volts. So quite clearly, how you cover that gap is important. I suspect here that the phototransistor is turning on, but the little bit of infrared light is passing through that piece of paper, therefore it's not fully turned on. So make sure that when you do this experiment and when you're doing any form of testing or using it, you need to make sure that you cover that gap. So zero, 4.17 volts. They're the output voltages. How you then use this infrared detector is up to you. But you know that when the gap is covered, the output is high, and when the gap is uncovered, the output is low.